Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Your destination for all things Apple. Apple has finally released iOS 17.4.1. Let's get right into it. Apple just rolled out iOS 17.4.1, just two weeks after iOS 17.4 hit our devices. But what's new? Apple's kind of keeping it under wraps, but it's pretty normal for these double point updates. They generally fix bugs and fix security patches. Nothing is ever going to change visually or any major features added. It's available for download on all compatible devices. To update, go into your settings, then scroll down to general, then software update. Here you'll see the pop-up for iOS 17.4.1. Apple also released iPadOS 17.4.1 and VisionOS 1.1.1. However, Apple did not release updates for macOS, tvOS, or watchOS. For those with an older iPhone or iPad, Apple also released iOS 16.7.7 and iPadOS 16.7.7. .7. It's a bit of a scattered update, but if we read in between the lines, it definitely seems like this update specifically for bug fixes in both iPhones and iPads. The release notes don't really give us much to work with. They simply state, this update provides important bug fixes and security updates and is recommended for all users. Apple generally doesn't disclose security updates for security reasons, of course. So no surprise there. If we click on this link right here and then scroll down to the details, we will see this notation right here that says details coming soon. I've been checking constantly to see if there's any changes, but as of the release of this video, no notes have been added. Many of you have been reporting issues like animation freezes, AirPods not connecting properly, unexpected battery drains, and trouble with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. While I don't expect all these bugs to get fixed in one update, there is a chance that the issue you are having could be one of the things getting fixed with this update. You really don't have anything to lose. If you are having issues with Wi-Fi, you can try resetting your network settings. You can do so by navigating into your settings, then scrolling down to general. From here, you wanna scroll down to transfer or reset iPhone, tap on reset, and then tap on reset network settings. Keep in mind, if you do this, you will have to re-enter all your Wi-Fi passwords for all your different locations. If you're having issue with any of your apps, you can try updating them to the latest release. You can do so by navigating into the App Store, then tapping on your icon right up here. You can refresh the page, and then you'll want to scroll down and tap on Update All. That's it for today's video. For more Apple updates, please consider watching this video right here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.